Okay, everyone, here's another module of painting our mask. We're gonna work on cool colors today. Um, I am also gonna work in some other metaphors, tears and scars, which I already did, but scar work. But I'm gonna kinda do a think aloud as I go. Um, I'm sorta low on the extra white paint. You'll see how fast the white paint goes. So I am going to use my Crass for All white paint today. So if you haven't done so already yet, make sure you pick up that extra white paint. So when I'm setting up my paint palette, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have a lot of white uh, in the middle, um, or I would pour white over here. Um, and you can see I have some white here from some work I was doing earlier today. Make sure you have a paper towel nearby Already I'm getting white on my hand and we're just going to go through and we're going to continue working on this mask project. Um, I want to do cool colors to kind of um, symbolize my past. I used to spend a lot of time uh, by the water um, and also cool colors contrast here. But I really recommend everyone doing your warm colors in one day and then your cool colors in another. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up my palette right now with different sorts of colors. Um, I keep putting my finger on this white. All right. So as you can see, all of my paints are organized right here to my right. Um, so I, I'm putting in some cerulean blue. Um, let's see, some phthalo blue. And I'm just squeezing lightly from the bottom and I get a lot out. Okay, let's see if this one's open. Viridian, yep. All my paints are open. Um, I picked them up from school. They're all open because um, I did the color wheel exercise. So make sure you explore acrylic paints if you haven't done so already. I got my green pale. So pale, it's called pale probably because it has more white in it. And I'm just going through, you can see I put everything in rainbow order so I can kind of organize my palette. Okay, this is emerald green. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Right, Sophie's not with me right now, which is sad, but good. I'm also gonna add some yellow. Okay, um, just because I really like mixing yellow with green, some of this pale white. So I know that these are warm colors, but I wanna have that just kind of as an option nearby. All right, and some other colors that I haven't used yet. Uh, I got this ultra marinian, so this really dark color. I'm skipping that because I did put some white there. I didn't see that before. Um, I'm not gonna put black right now. Um, I'm just not going to. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some burnt umber to mix with this ultramarinian if I need to. And I'm just going to focus on kind of painting some skin tones in sort of some blue hues. So this is my paint palette right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get going. Um, and think about that self-portrait unit, right? and where our highlights are, I'm gonna start to just put some coats of white. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, I am noticing that the white in the tube is a little more watery than the white that you guys picked up from the school. All right, so I have a little bit of the salsa cup white left. So that's actually kind of thicker. So I'm gonna use a lot of that. And I'm just gonna start going. And I'm just not going to stop. Um, I'm assuming I would have a lot of white kind of on the cheekbones. So this is a paper mache mask project. If you're just tuning in, you're like, what are we doing? And there's a whole playlist where I do this whole project. So you want to go ahead, you want to do it live. Okay. Um, when I'm thinking about painting a mask, I want to kind of and my promise, this mask represents kind of a change I wanna make in myself. 
I want to channel some of my mistakes, some of the negative human behaviors that I've made in the past. So one of those is kind of like going down the wrong road, making wrong decisions. So even though this is a mouse, I'm going to like think of it as like kind of like bars and like being, being in chains and making wrong decisions. So I am going to like think about all of the things and times in my life when I haven't acted or I haven't done certain things. And I'm going to make these bars going across, going around like this. Right? And I'm going to kind of go up. So I'm just kind of like live getting ideas as I work. So I'm also adding highlights. I want to move around, add white everywhere. So this is an idea that I just got is kind of like, I used to be silent, but now my mouth is open because I want to speak up. So your mask is a combination of positive and negative things about yourself. Your mask should represent who you um, once were, like the things like facing like, behaviors that you want to leave behind and who you want to become and I want to let go of the times when I didn't act so I'm going to put bars kind of around the outside and um, I have these ears because I want to listen all right so I'm going to keep going I'm going to start to blend some cool colors right now so I still got white on my brush I haven't you can see my water right here I haven't um, over um, cleaned. Maybe I, well, I just cleaned. I got my paper towel right there. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna dive in. I'm gonna use some of um, this very light blue. Um, just kind of looking over, this is Cerulean. So Cerulean is this beautiful white blue and I'm kind of pulling this over. My daughter would love this. It's a sky blue and I'm gonna kind of start to blend this cerulean blue let me zoom in into a little bit of the white highlight oops shouldn't have moved the arm too much so i, I want to in in this lesson as you paint um, i want you to always focus on adding tints first and oh i just went over kind of like my red tear so I'm gonna kind of clean up that boundary. And if you wanna be able to have a smooth edge with a boundary, you're gonna go really light. Oh, I just went over it again. And like, don't be upset about making mistakes because you're kind of learning. It's like, okay, I should be smooth. I should be slower there. I'm lowering down the arm a little so we can see what's happening. Okay. So I just want to point out that I'm really going up to the edge. I'm gonna pull in some white. So just playing with this idea of this like kind of like blue color. So I think what we want to do today is we want to, as we add our cool colors, while we simultaneously think, I should show me mixing too. So see, I'm working with a lot of white. Um, we should also, oops, went over the red there. So really smooth boundaries. Um, we should also focus on covering the entire mask. Right? So we're thinking about metaphors, but covering the entire mask. Now, while you have that blue, the light colors on your brush, you want to use it instead of going back and forth. So I'm going to make a soft boundary right here at the edge of the nose, right? I would have a soft edge right here and kind of like smooth, smooth over. Okay, kind of mixing, I'm kind of sort of mixing as I go. And what I want um, everyone to understand, and I've been saying this all year, um, is you should paint with the demos, you know? It's a chance for you to kind of work with the demos. Now I'm putting white in right up here and I'm realizing, you know what? 
there would probably be a shadow there. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to paint over that later, but I'm not going to trip. So talk to yourself, where is there the light? Where is there going to be the most light? Because we're doing a light color. So we're adding a light tint. Now you don't have to make your mask blue, like I'm kind of doing right now. And when I think of blue, like I, I grew up around the water. So there is a lot happening in my past, like my family, where I'm from, where the water like brings like significant significance. <clears throat> And I just want you to think as you're working, think about things that you want to leave behind. I want you to think about memories, positive and good, and think about how can I channel like what I've learned in my life so far and what I've learned in my classes, how can I channel that into this mask project? How can I use my art to remember, like be reflective and become the person that I want to be? Okay, I still have a lot of this beautiful white cerulean tint. So I'm gonna look for other areas, dotting it, stippling it on the side. I'm gonna just make sure that's in focus so you all can see. Ooh, that's kind of a dark value. So that's, I got a dark value. Well, I have a dark value. I could kind of work it in to make the nose round. So now I have more like pure color into a dark value room. I can start to add some cast shadows under the nose. Okay, I don't know about those dots there. I'm not liking that. So I'm gonna go back in with some more white, smooth that over. Okay, and my goal right now is to cover the entire mask but also think about, there is like wisdom in our past. I just wanna say that like right there. Like there is wisdom in our memories. Okay, so using a lot of cerulean, trying to get a whole coat covering that mask. So I would probably have more of a shadow here so maybe I'm gonna work in some more pure cerulean. Now I haven't mixed any colors yet today, but I also wanna make sure I'm covering the whole thing. And remember you can go over different parts of this. I think there would be more highlight right here. I think the light would hit there. But I also wanna make it smooth. I don't want it to be too crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to cover more space because I don't want any uh, of the brown paper mache kind of peeping through. So using a lot of the paint in my brush, blending this in. It's probably gonna be a lot of white right there. I'm kind of moving around my space, I just wanna say looking at the mask from different angles, making a note to myself, using all the paint on my brush, smoothly applying the paint and thinking about the water from my childhood. I grew up on a lake and life was, you know, it was rough. It was rough and beautiful, right? It was traumatic and beautiful. Okay, I don't know about some of these dark lines. So it's like, think about happy memories, think about sad memories, think about behaviors you've seen. Think about what, um, think about history, think about what people have gone through in, the, in your history class. Maybe you were once a bully and you don't wanna be like that anymore. I'm gonna smooth this, I'm gonna soften that line right there. Okay. 
Okay, I kind of really want to work some green into my project, but I got the cerulean blue right here. I'm out of white. So look at this. I'm just scooping white out to get kind of like the cerulean blue color continuing on the side of the mask. So I got some nice blending going on there. Now I'm just covering it. Okay, I got some dark color right there. Thinking about the ear, thinking about shadows in the ear. I wanna open up my ears and I really wanna listen um, and I wanna grow. So maybe because I wanna grow and growth makes me think of green and kind of like this idea of renewal. Maybe I'll do green on the inside of the ear and on the inside of the mouth while I have all the cool colors going. Okay. So, um, ears, it's dark, right? Like, because there's less light hitting the inside of our ears. So I'm just taking some of the pure cerulean and I'm kind of working it in, putting those dark values that I marked with my pencil. Just doing a C really. And then using a bunch of my white that I got left over, kind of blending that on right on the paper mache. And guys, you know, I just a reminder, so sometimes kids skip videos. I'm no longer using the mask mall. Like I built this entire mask with uh, paper mache from school, with the, the strips of newsprint that you guys picked up from school. We built the entire thing. So it's just like kind of like such an exciting thing that's happening. Okay, so. Um, full disclosure, I am now reaching for another blue. Um, I reached for the Ultramarinian. I did, guys. I went for the darkest value, and I still have white on my brush. That's not that's not good. So I was being I wasn't being disciplined. So make sure you rinse the white off of your brush. That's something that I struggle with as an artist is stopping and rinsing my brush. You know, you could also be working with another brush. And guys, I just noticed something. I, I should be using a bigger brush and switching back and forth. So you can use multiple brushes. Don't forget that. Okay, I'm going to go in with my dark value, my pure ultramarinian, and I'm going to just start to make kind of a hard boundary around the edge of the ear where I want this green to be. So I'm just stippling around, modeling the process. And I'm realizing, look, I didn't cover this part up here. So I'm gonna have to go back and do that. We notice things. Ooh, maybe I could put a little bit of dark blue underneath the nose and a little bit of dark blue under the nose. Um, why blue? I said earlier, Blue is important. It's a part of my past I want to leave behind. It has symbolism for me. But also, it's the opposite of the eyes. It juxtaposes the anger. There's peace in blue. So the mask not only represents things that you want to leave behind, but also things that you, um, like ways that you want to change. Okay, so I worked in a little bit of dark blue. I'm gonna put this brush to the side. Actually, I'm gonna put that in the water. And I'm gonna go in with the detail brush. And I'm going to make some hard boundaries. I'm gonna make some choices, guys. So I am going to, with this dark blue, start to work in shadows. Dark values. And I might even, yep, I am putting blue in the iris. Or, yeah, that's what it's called. So the darkest part of the eye is ultramarinium. I have not used black yet, but I'm adding some stippling, but notice how that pops out. Like, that's really cool. But really working in those dark values. I'm 
to zoom in as I do detail work. Um, so much. We learn so much by painting the eyes. We really do. Looking in those eyes. Okay, also putting in wrinkles for the ears and putting hard boundaries for the ears on the side. But yeah, really putting in that crease right there for under the eye. So I'm asking myself, where are my shadows? And I'm gonna mix in some of my white. Bring in some of my white. And I have kind of like, now I have ultramarinian with that. That might be a little too white for that area. So maybe I'm using the blue to kind of create a shadow to make the cornea look round. Okay, so actually like Painting the eye, cornea, a little blue. Using blue as a value. Maybe making more of a shadow there. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this color, so I'm gonna use this as a chance to cover up some areas that I haven't covered up on the paper mache. Drying my brush. I made the mistake with this project by not having my brush super dry. And I'm just going through and I am just covering up different areas of the mask that have not been covered. I'm just going in, going for it. Okay, zooming out. Okay. Um, covering the outside over here. Okay, guys, I am running low on white. Part of me feels like I should order more white for everyone. And have it delivered just in case. So I might go ahead and do that. Okay, I am, I have tons of white. I have tons of pure white on my mask and I'm just taking a break from painting and I'm covering all of it with like this base color, like leftover ultramarinian. And this is, this is a mistake that a lot of painters make is we don't cover all of our work. So, I'm going to go in, I'm going to use some of this blue, these, these other blue colors. Um, I believe right now I'm using phalo blue. So I'm making a nice phalo blue with all this white. And I am just going to work on covering up before I get too lost in detail work. So I'm sure there's a lot of light hitting the forehead. And I feel like my brush isn't loaded enough. So I... I'm going to get ready for this. I'm going to put a lot of white. Yes. I told you white would go fast. So taking my phthalo blue, my cerulean, making different sky blues, and just with kind of like a mid-tone now, kind of covering up different areas of the mask. I kind of feel like this red texture I want to keep that red. So kind of pay attention to when you're going up against different colors and the contrast. You want that to be a hard boundary, a soft boundary, but just give the entire paper mache mask a good coat. So we're covering sort of all the paper mache. Mm -hmm. So again, this is mostly white. You know, I might want to play with some purple on the side in a second, because I want to use a variety of colors on the color wheel. Just giving it a good like base color so I can add more details later and not worry about what I'm doing. Ooh, 
oops, do you guys see what I just did? I went over all that tear work. I was being a little sloppy. Don't worry if that happens. You can go back, you could fix it during touch-ups. Um, I'm feeling like I want some darker values on the side, right here. Darker values, so I'm gonna go in with some darker values. Ooh, I love that. That is phthalo blue for you. So I am gonna work some darker values on the side of the mask, because I don't want it to be so tinty, but start light. And I'm gonna kind of make this sort of a hard boundary. <laughs> okay, working some of the dark values over here. I'm getting kind of this rough sort of um, texture. I, it's kind of cool. I, I don't know if I like it. So I'm going to kind of smooth it over. Let me make sure the camera is focused. So kind of getting a blending sort of thing happening. And you could see like different textures with the paper mache. You can work with that. You know, do your brush strokes in the direction. If you see different textures, do that. But yeah, really, you know, explore different colors. And we should see a variety of different color mixing and a variety of different values in your project. So I'm gonna work in some dark, ooh, I'm gonna work in some dark values right there. And because this is the bottom of the mask, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna have a lot of darkness underneath. Maybe this, re maybe I'm gonna have the bottom of my mask represent like this cave. You know, like thinking about times times in my life when I just didn't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know I was ignorant, but now you guys doing the facing history unit, you know. Okay, I need to reload my brush, refocus the camera. This is where we're at. This is what my palette looks like right now. Going in and just really working on smoothing, softening the boundaries. Again, you can do, like you could have, like your mask can be any color, right? You just want it to be, um, you want your mask to show different values. Um, I kind of want to have some of this mid-tone more up here underneath the eyelid. So, oh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe put some of this here, add some stippling to put some shadows. Okay, I like this mid-tone effect that's happening. Maybe the tear would give a little bit of a shadow. So I'm gonna add some stippling. And you can see I'm going from light to dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all of this like space I've left like peeking through. Like all oh, I was gonna do green there. I forgot. It's okay, it's acrylic. I just paint over it. So I'm gonna put green there, yes. Okay, but I could cut some of this stuff off from the ear, like I, if I don't like how it looks, but I, I, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of liking, because we, we, as human beings, we're kind of broken people. You know, we're really, we're broken individuals. We've gone through a lot of pain. And, you know, that's that. And, you know, it's, it's about owning the trauma, you know? 
responding to trauma and knowing that trauma is a real thing that we all have to deal with. Look at all of this blue. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a shadow in here because there would be. And um, let's pivot and talk about the rubric real fast. You wanna make sure you cover all areas of the mask with paint. And I'm having a hard time with this ear because it's so um, stubborn or it's so rough, you know, at the edges. So I gotta work on that. Okay guys, I'm running low on blue. And just want to throw that out there. Um, I am going to use the rest of my salsa cup. I'm running low on white. I'm going to add some more white. You will need plenty of white. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so I have pure white. And I have a lot of blue on my brush. <clears throat> really right now. I'm just covering the whole space. That's what I'm doing. Um, I'm giving the whole mask a layer. Let me zoom out. I'm doing a lot of rotating. Okay, so yeah, I have darkness under there, but there's light. You know, and everything doesn't need to symbolize something. Sometimes you just need to cover the thing with paint. I'll just throw that out there. Like the meaning, sometimes the meaning happens in the middle. I kind of like this stippling effect. Maybe this, all this stippling represents trauma and wounds. If it, there's an area of the mask that people really won't see, you can kind of just explore, you know, practice by painting the background. I feel like that's a little mold that's still there. Maybe I should clean that. Okay. Um... I'm going to keep the video rolling and continue to talk about my idea of green. I'm going to rinse this brush. I'm going to get a new brush for green. I'm going to get a little bit more white. So um, green kind of symbolizes growth and renewal. And we're still rolling with this idea of adding cool colors. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to mix some green in. So I got this green tint going. But before I do that, you know what? I'm gonna use this idea of yellow and fire and the voice. So for me, like yellow can represent anger, but a lot of wisdom comes from anger, right? It's like we, we're channeling who we don't want to be and we're leaving that person behind. You know, we're finding kind of self-improvement by making this mask, right? But yellow, so, so the point I'm making is all the negative things, negative things that have happened in our lives, they can also be a positive thing, right? So we can channel our trauma and our tragedy, right? And the pain or, or the tragedy of history, really, the trauma of COVID, the trauma of 9-11, the trauma of the Holocaust, I'm just listing different things that we're learning about in school, or trauma you guys have experienced, trauma your parents have experienced, and we could put it, we could turn it into something positive. It's like, okay, well, I don't want to become that person, right? Or I don't want history to repeat itself, right? This idea like, so Yes, like yellow and the warm colors kind of represent negativity. But for me, yellow and warmth can also... I, I'm going to turn like history into something positive. So yellow is a warm color, but I'm bringing it back. Right? And I'm having it represent something positive. Okay. So I am planning on painting this green, but I'm going to work some yellow into the background of this ear because then that creates visual balance. And I am going to try to create a more of a um, smooth boundary. I'm using some Naples yellow too. Full disclosure. Okay really got to load the brush. 
I'm competing with blue right now. And you know, I, I'm realizing I really need to clean up this edge and it, I might have to do it later, like with a darker value. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. I got my fiery yellow. Okay, look. So I went blue over here, right? I already painted blue, but it's acrylic. It's a wonderful thing. So you could just paint over it. And go over yellow, 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 yellow. It was all yellow. Okay. So we can kind of, kind of see the blue. I'm not going to trip about it. Maybe I'll add a little bit more fire. Okay. Now, remember I said about the bars and I used to be silent. So maybe like we're also thinking about color balance too. So I want like the visually heavy color. I want the, I want certain colors to be throughout the mask to move the eye throughout the mask, right? So I'm going to go in and rotating. I'm going to add yellow here. Now it's, it doesn't need to be perfect, right? Cause, cause also so much of the objective as we paint the mask in these couple of days is just you know, we got to fill up the space. We, 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 we want to do a coat and we want the whole mask to be covered during this week of school. This whole week we're painting. So I'm going around, going around. Painting the mask. So, you know, this is taking too long. Often students are like, miss, can I just do the details later and just paint the whole thing? And it's like, yes. Okay, I'm out of yellow, guys. Can you see my palette? Yeah, I think you can. The yellow and the white go fast. Look, I got all this green sitting on the brush. That's not good. So I got to get back to my green. But I did want to make the point that I want the yellow to go throughout because I want to blend the green with the yellow. So I'm just going to add some more of my fiery yellow. And let's, for fun, let's add some yellow okra. Okay. Okay, so we've got fiery yellow. Let's just, I, you know, I know I'm going to do bars here. So maybe I'll, I'll clean that up later. Maybe I'm just adding yellow to add yellow. So I, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it being neat right now. I'm just gonna cover it up. We can worry about that more during final touches, but this, some, some of the boundaries you may wanna make clear, clean, cause you don't know that, oh guys, I just mixed blue and yellow. We're at that point in the video where I'm starting to get a little sloppy. It's like 30 or 40 minutes in. I know what you're thinking. You're always sloppy, miss. Okay. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just covering the whole thing with yellow, with bright yellow. But also thinking about color and value, you know, where, where are areas where I can add a different value? So really going in there. So I'm just kind of trying to smooth this edge right here. Smooth the edge between the yellow and the blue. So we want clear warm spaces and we want clear warm and cool spaces. <laughs> Oh, look, we got blue working its way in. So got warm. It's hard to talk and paint. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm going to play around with adding some of this okra. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the green. But I'm going to just kind of vary. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the wrinkles that are here in the paper mache. I'm just going to kind of blend as I go, adding some yellow okra. And I know I, ha I want to have bars down here, you know, I do, but I'm going to have to paint them on later. I got to get a good background color, kind of working in some stippling. And while we're channeling and we're thinking about who we want to become, we're also just learning how to paint 3D objects. And we're learning how to work with acrylic. So acrylic is a great paint that you guys can use for the rest of your lives. Oh my gosh, I can't forget the green. So I'm really emptying the brush. Really, okay. Now, um, while I have a second, I'm just gonna play around. I have my burnt umber that I haven't used yet in my palette. And let's see, can I make sort of a bar effect? Like when I used to be silent. So can I add like detailed lines around? It's hard to get a straight line. We could take tape. And you could, you could cut tape and you could make straight lines that way. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the most patient person and I think a lot of you guys can relate. My students are always like, miss, I don't have time. Okay. So I'm doing brown all the way around. I'm doing a ring all the way around. So you know, patterns, right? That was a design principle that we learned about in the fall. Can be symbols. So I'm doing stripes, but, and no one may know what it means, but it means something to me as the artist. It represents the time when I was silent. And MLK says that our life begins to end. I think he said something like, our life begins to end when we're silent about the things that matter. I'm painting outside now, guys, and the sun is starting to burn my neck. And maybe, you know, the yellow for me, well, it, it, it represents truth. Let me be honest. Yellow represents truth. It represents pain, right? So I was, I used to. And I, I talk about this because I know it's the same for a lot of students because I've heard their sophomore promises. A lot of us just don't tell people what we're thinking and feeling. We just hold everything in. So it looks like I have enough space for three bars. Maybe I could do a hard boundary right here. So four bars and do a boundary. Am I still on? I'm still recording. Okay guys, we're at 43 minutes of live instruction. I will also put this on YouTube so everyone can watch it asynchronously as well as they work on their mask project. <laughs> Whew, I am getting tired. I tell you what. Adding some stipples up in the hizza to kind of blend. Uh, I'm trying to blend the brown and the white, but maybe I want more of a hard boundary there. Oop, I didn't finish this. And look at me, I used all the brown on my palette, but I left green sitting on my brush. Okay, so I have my bars. Okay, I wanted to put yellow on the inside too because representing growth and power and the truth, because I want to speak the truth, but I've been leaving this green sitting on my brush. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to work some of this green color. And maybe I want more yellow in the middle, but I'm going to start to put this green color because I want to listen. I want to open my ears. I want to listen. I want to read more. Right, that's one of my goals. I want to read more, I want to listen more, and I want to be open to new ideas. So 
so I'm just working this green. Oh, this green. I love phalo green and yellow. So I'm just, oh my gosh, that's such a pretty color. Oops. Should leave that hard boundary there. And don't be worried about being wrong. So I have my layer of yellow, but I really always intended on this to be green. But I can do several coats. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, I'm going to add, I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm now I'm playing with this light green. I'm working that in. So this is kind of a darker value. So focusing the camera, focusing the camera. I'm slowly darkening the values on the outside. So my ears are open. And I want to see, I want to hear. <laughs> okay. Um, I got a lot of green on my brush right now. I'm sort of done with it right here, but I do know that I want to do green in here. And I've been struggling with covering everything, especially when it's something on the inside. So I want to speak up in the future, right? I want to speak up in the future. So um, I'm going to just start putting some of this leftover green right here. I got a lot of white on my brush too. So I can have kind of a lighter value. And I think maybe I'll add the yellow last because yellow is so powerful. Now I am working on having Whoa, just zoomed in. Ooh, check that out. That looks cool. I'm working on having a really, really hard boundary on the edge. So I'm just, it's hard painting a 3D object. Let's acknowledge that. A lot of people who are happier do art to let go of anger, frustration, and trauma, find themselves. I'm going to tell you guys, I mean, I'm 30, let's see, while doing this video, oops, that's not much of a hard boundary, 37, and this is helping me at 37. So you may not become a professional artist, but you can do art the rest of your life to cope with stuff. Oh, it looks like I have a visitor coming. Hey, Jakey. Whoa. Okay. I'm doing some art too. Cool. Does art make you happier? Yeah. Whoa. What do you like about this? Not like all the different patterns. Where do you see different patterns? Like, this is all fiery up here and then all of a sudden it's just water. Mm. Water and then bee strikes. Mm hmm Yeah. Whoa, that is a cool woof. You did that, Jacob? Yeah. No way. That is that's amazing. I'm getting some pure green on my brush, guys. I did. Oops. On both sides. Oops, I got some green on the side. You did that on both sides? Okay, uh, I just got a bunch of dark value, and that's fine. It's acrylic. So, Jacob, you want to know why? That's amazing, Jacob. Your line movement is astounding. You want to know why, Jacob? I'm painting the inside of the mouth uh, green? No. Okay, well, it's springtime. Well, I, I want to know, but I don't know. Okay, so it's springtime. And spring is an opportunity for growth and renewal and becoming a better person. Hey, can you paint this? Um, you can paint it. Get a brush. Mm. Um, definitely a thin one because I want um for black and green. Green represents renewal. So for me, like, like if I speak up 
And if I put myself out there, even though I'm afraid, right? I've held myself back in the past because I've been scared, right? That's what the bars represent here, Jacob. But if I put myself up there and I speak oh out God, about truth, really I'm going to be happier. Yes, I bet you will. Those are so windy. Okay. Why is it so windy? Yeah. Well, welcome to Southern California. Whoa, you just got a lot of black. Guys, my son just put black in the palette. I was telling my students I stay away from black for most, most of my painting, and then I add it at the end. Okay, so I'm going to work some of this green color in here. I'm going to work some green color in there. Yeah, that's cool, Jacob. Yeah. Okay, I have a lot of extra green on my brush, so I'm going to move around. I'm just going to move around and I'm just going to, it's okay if I blend some green oh with the blues, like that's fine. Maybe I want to paint the inside, all of my extra paint. If you have leftover paint at the end of a paint session, work on painting the inside. That can stop your mask from rotting, at least I think. You know, I'm going to take a break and I am going to... Um, you know what I'm going to do? Jacob, I'm going to clean the back of the mask because I just saw some more mold. So guys, make sure you post what you got to see saw. Um, make sure you catch up if you're behind. Did Daddy take a shower? Yeah. He didn't? Oh, well, I, I mean, I don't know. I bet he is right now. So I don't know if you guys could see, like, maintaining paper mache too. I had so much water when I was doing this. Like I said, in a, oh, look, I just put my finger on wet paint. <sighs> I had so much water going, that mold started to grow, grow on, especially in the ears, but on the inside of the mask. So it's really important to, when you are doing paper mache, to leave it open in a dry area. Okay. Um, this was a 52 minute video. That's about the time of a studio time. So we're going to stop, clean your brushes. What we've done in these first two painting videos, longer painting videos, is we added warm colors and then we added cool colors. Think about colors, think about symbolism. I am just, I have a hard time stopping. And I'm just thinking, I, you know what I'm realizing, Jacob? I wanted to have a lot of bright yellow on the inside to represent the power of the voice. So I am just going to look. I am live squirting actual yellow. Can you believe I'm doing that? Oh my gosh. It's really hot. Yeah, some is hot. So I am going to add some stippling of yellow like into this before it gets too dry. What do you think, Jacob? I like how you're mixing the colors and makes it look really beautiful. I'm definitely just going to put a bunch of Yeah, to work on mixing colors, Jacob, as you go. It's really good, important, guys, for you to put, like, do color mixing exercises and just practice blending colors. So I am working a warm color. I'm working yellow into green. You can do that. You can work, like, red into blue. You know, if it's next... Or you could work like purple into blue, for example, if a color is next to a color on, a, in, on the color wheel. So I am just leaving some yellow tint in and I'm having some blending happening on the inside. I need way more white. Okay. This is where we are with my mask. Jacob, any feedback? No. You think it's pretty good? That's just perfect. Um, please, please, please. Think about not letting paint sit on a brush and using paint. So as we wrap things up for this work session, look, I have this one like whole, I have this area on the side of my mask. So I am going to cover it up. A lot of people won't see this side, but you wanna really use all your paint. So I'm just using all leftover paint 
Look, I got this little crevice, this little hole. And I'm pretty sure that if you cover it with paint, you're, the chances of you having mold, mold are a little smaller, like mold growing in the mask. So, um, even though, like even though I got green right here, I can put some green underneath here, you know? Cause that'll help to create unity. I got green in the ears and then maybe I'll notice a little bit of green behind these uh, eyebrows of anger. Do you want to see the eyebrows of anger? Yeah, so Jacob, don't you think we need to work on being less angry? Yeah, I yeah. really like these, like, the, teardrops. The red tears? Yeah. What do you, do you ever get sad? Yeah, but I think it looks really cool, like, because it's fiery. Mm-hmm. And I've... I also think you should make um, the inside of that one yellow, like you did with this. The inside of which one? That tear. Oh, so like put white. some more yellow? Yeah, I mean, I don't see any yellow on the inside, but I, I think you should put Oh, okay. I'll do it right now. Thanks for the feedback. Live feedback from my son. Look, don't tell anyone I'm doing this. I'm getting paint right from the tube. A thin brush, cleaning this up a little. I really like the thin brush that you put in it. Yeah, make sure you're you're washing as you go. Try working some yellow into that, Jacob. I got some cool yellow right here. Work some of that yellow. That Man, can show wolves, highlights. Wolves don't really. This is a gray wolf, and Terry says gray wolf. That's why you cover. But wolf. some grays are a little yellowy. Like there's, there are different colors in everything. Like I'm adding little dots of yellow. Is it okay if I paint this cardboard so I like I get most of the paint off? Oh of yeah, the yeah. But look, we got, we got. Guys, don't forget so to rinse your brushes. Okay. Mm. Hey, dude, are we gonna go bike riding later? Okay. What? Okay, so. so. Hey guys, I still got a bunch of dark green that's drying in my palette. I'm gonna try to use it by adding some dark values around the side here um you know what before i turn off the camera for this video i'm going to just add some dark greens i'm realizing i never did that so i am really rinsing my brush i'm going to add some dark green i'm going back adding some viridian i don't know if you guys can see can you see i'm going to move the rubbing alcohol out of the way remember to put tops on So I am adding dark green. I'm also covering my neck because I'm getting sunburned. I'm painting outside, everyone. I know. I wish I had some way to cover my neck. I'm really getting sunburned too. Yeah, we should go put on sunscreen, but I just couldn't resist doing final touches. You know you're in a good spot if you want to keep going. I am going to cheat. I'm going to add some green right here. I don't know. I kind of want, I want green to go throughout the mask to kind of pull the eye around the mask. But at the same time, I don't want to confuse the viewer. I'm not really sure. Okay, look, I got all of this area of the mask that I didn't cover last time. I'm going to cover extra areas of the mask right now. Okay, we've got a lot of black. No, I need just like I'm gonna, I'm, I, we have black. Guys, normally I wouldn't say use black, but Jacob and I have black out and it's gonna dry if we don't use it. So I, I got black it's guys. It's putting that, that much black on. It, it's okay. I love that you're saying sorry. That's so cool. I'm gonna add a little dots of black while I got it on the brush. Cause you don't wanna make, you don't wanna waste paint, right Jacob? No. I'm adding, guys, I'm adding black. It's like a black and um, black and a little bit of green. I don't know how I feel about putting that line there. Jacob, you see how I put that black line there? I don't know if I like it. Okay, good. You can't see it. Oh, down there? Yeah. 
I, I think it's okay. <coughs> I'm gonna add some texture with some lines. I'm adding stippling to the horns. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop. True artist knows when to stop. We're at an hour. Okay, take it easy, everyone. Let's take a break. And uh, we'll keep going. We're, we're gonna add some jewels next and some different things. Bye now. To stay tuned to the next video.